Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the nearby nation, right now what I'm going to show you is how to put the Unleashed plus Unhinged pack together, plus give you the configs. So if any of you guys wanted to do Unhinged and wanted the Unleashed mods in there, for instance, you wanted to do Greg's tech, but you wanted something like Tinker's Construct in your pack with you, this is how you do it. So, you're going to have to download two things, Multi-MC, and you're going to have to download the FTB Launcher. You download those two and you'll be good. So you can get that right there. I'll put the link in the description as well as the link for the Feed the Beast in the description as well. I have them both already. So what we're going to do is we are going to create a new custom new custom instance. So when you get multi-MC, it'll look like a folder like this. So just open it up and it'll have a multi-MC image right there. You just double click that and you'll be able to open up this launcher right here. You're also going to need to open up the FTB launcher and you need to make sure that you have updated both the Unleashed and the Direwolf pack. If you have both of those updated, you're good to go. Or not the Direwolf, my bad. I'm sorry. Totally wrong. You got to make sure you update the Unhinged and Unleashed. Direwolf got in the way. <laughs> Anyways, so um, that's what that's going to look like. This whole folder is going to look like this right here. We got Unleashed and Unhinged right here. So we're going to create a new instance, file to add new instance. And we're going to call this Unleashed plus Unhinged. All right. We're going to have to go ahead and uh, edit mods. And in the Minecraft.jar, we're going to add in what needs to be added in there. So if you go to Unhinged, we're going to start with Unhinged first. We're going to go to Instance Mods, and we're going to throw that in there because that's an Instance Mod. Okay? Then we... Follow along, and then we need to go to core mods. Go to core mods right here. We're gonna throw that in there. Perfect, right? And then we're gonna go to mods, and we're gonna go to mods here. We're gonna copy all these over and throw those in there. Okay? Right now, that's what we're setting at. So basically, we had the whole instance of unhinged for FTB working. If I close this out, I try to load it up. We should have no problem. It's going to download the Minecraft.jar for you. And it's basically going to open up just like it would be opened up in the FTB launcher. Oh, here's my problem. I actually have uh, Java 8 installed. You might want to pump up the memory as well. So here is 2048. We're going to double this up and 1024. That way we're running minimum of one gig, maximum of two gigs, and then I need to go ahead and do this right here in auto detect. Because I have Java 8. Yours, if you have Java 7 and you installed on multi-MC, you should have no problems. You shouldn't have to do that. But if you do have to do that, then you just go through that step. Alright, here is Minecraft. It's gonna open up. Just like you want it to. Oh, I have fraps and, and running, by the way. That's why you see that five number up there. Let me close that out. And it'll load up just like it would load up in the launcher itself. You have to wait a little while. And there you go. You have the 65 mods that are installed in the unhinged pack. So, now we have to go ahead and modify this and put our unleashed stuff in there. So how I did this was we already had the instance mods in there. We already have Minecraft Forge. We go to mods, we go to core mods, and we need to go in back over here to unleashed and go to edit mods and look at core mods. Now, right now, we have Code Chicken Core already, we have COF Core, or the framework, we have uh, Not Enough Items, and we have Power Crystals. So we don't have Nuclear, we don't have that, we don't have that, and we don't have that. So we throw those two over there, so those are in there now. We have all, what is that, four and four, eight items, and there's eight items in there. We're good. You can also, if you want to choose to just throw all this up there in the Core Mods instead of actually the Unleashed Core, or the Unhinged Core Mods, but yeah. Now we need to go to the mods section. So let me go to mods. And I do believe that uh, it will duplicate or it will uh, it will replace all the ones that uh, if they're the same type. So we can just go ahead and copy all these and throw them over and replace the file destinations. So now we just need to make sure that there wasn't any second versions, which it doesn't look like there was. I think they were both apparently the same 
biomes of plenty. You might want to turn that on. You can just take the disabled part off and you'll get the biomes of plenty working for you. I think everything else is pretty much. You definitely need to check if there's duplications, you will have errors and you will not be able to uh, run it. And it looks like we're good. I don't see any duplications. So what we need to do now is we need to take the configs that I'm going to give you down below in the comment section, or I'm sorry, the description, and we need to delete these configs out. We can just go ahead and delete the folder out, and then we need to put this folder in there. Now, if everything runs right, which it should, we'll just go ahead and load this up. There is dimensional doors. I might have a problem with that, and we might have to delete that. There we go. We have two applied energistics and two charge pads, so that's the two things that we have to fix right now. So go to edit mods. Apparently they're named different or different folders or something like that. So we'll go to Minecraft mods. So oh yeah, they're named different. That's why. So you can just delete one of those out and charge pads. That one's newer, so we're going to delete that one out. And uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and take out dimensional doors, just to make sure. If you want to get dimensional doors working, you can get it working no problems. Uh, if you want all this other stuff installed. It already has configs for it, so we can just delete that out. If you want hats on, again, take the disabled part out. You can do this inside the FDB launcher pre ahead of time, and it will already take the disabled part out if you want. Or you can just do it this way. Let's see if there's anything else. Nether ores. Hmm, I really don't like nether ores. Power converters. Of course, we want power converters. How are we supposed to turn all that lava from IC2 into underground biomes? That's a new one. I have not seen that one before. I don't know if that one actually has errors or not. It might throw errors. Let's go ahead and try. It has its own config setup, so if it does throw our errors, we'll just take it off. But uh, we'll go ahead and throw this on there. I do have um, Mo Creatures installed on top of this. But uh, you know, you can get Mo Creatures wherever you want to get it from the uh, forums or anything like that. Or if you already have an instance of Mo Creatures, you can throw it in there. Should work. I had no problems with running into any errors with it. My config pack itself has more creatures in it, so you should be fine there. Let's make sure this runs. If not, we'll have to take off the biomes underground. That's cool though. Yay! No, okay, that was a false, false start. I always see that one. It looks like it's gonna throw an error, but it didn't. We might be good here. We might be good here. Yep, we're good. Okay, the only other thing I could say is make sure you come through here and if there is any, which I don't think there should be any, all these are animation errors, you'll see copied over a mod attempt to register or, okay, interesting. I think everything else, else looks pretty good. It looks pretty clean. Here we go, polarizer recipe, but that's just fine. That can be overwritten. And uh, that's probably Greg's tech overriding that. Everything else looks pretty spiffy. That's just a false error. And the Railcraft stuff gets overwritten from item carts vanilla anyways, or Railcraft overwrites vanilla, so you have no worries there. It looks like everything is going to be fine, and I've always had this error with Mine Factory Reloaded. I think it overwrites the block of ice and the block pane no matter what, so there you go. We can just go ahead and make sure this works for you create a new world oh before I do that I should have done something else hold on one second because you won't have biomes of plenty on this is very crucial if you want biomes of plenty you're gonna have to do this simple step it's a very simple step all those people out there it's like I loaded my world why don't I have biomes of plenty this is how you do it single player create new world world, more world options biomes of plenty that's it. You'll load up, you'll have both Greg's tech, you'll have all the uh, Unleashed pack installed. No problems at all. You'll be able to run it just smoothly. You will have Greg's tech's uh, hard mode on, so if you want to turn that off, that's in the configs. Uh, I, I keep it on, but you know everything else is overwritten by Unleashed configs, so everything else will not be on hard mode. I know Greg's, or uh, the Unleashed, or Unhinged pack, my bad, makes everything hard mode. This pack only has uh, Greg's tech on hard mode, but you will have all of that installed. And if I press F3, we have 124 mods installed. So 
Again, I installed more creatures and stuff like that on top of it, but you can do that yourself. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, a lot of people wanted this, so it's out there. It's not that hard to do. Unleash plus Unhinged just together. See you guys in the next video.